kwa ibada ya kwanza amehubiri kitabu ambacho kimesoma hapa na nikamwambia hivyo ndio mwana anakaa anaelewa maono ya kanisa na ya baba yake yanaenda wapi na anatia nguvu hayo maono kwa hiyo walio kwa ibada kwanza they are privileged watasikia neno hili mara ya pili and that is our blessing wakati mpata kwa fellowship zenu popote mlipo mnahitaji ku strengthen the vision of the church but mkiwa kwa fellowship mimi na ubiri forgiveness naona endo na ubiri kubarikiwa ninakushuku kama wewe ni mwana you need to speak the same because kile Mungu anabariki ni maone ya mpeana ya kanisa and so i celebrate you for preparing the church in the morning for that forgiveness in christian living that is the message that i have for us today msamaha katika maisha yetu haya tunayoishi ya kikristo forgiveness in christian living tumeokolewa kwa neema ya Mungu na tukapewa nafasi ya kuishi maisha ya ukristo na tunaitwa wa Kristo kwa sababu yale mambo tunayofanya yanahitaji kumfanana Kristo Yesu wana wiki. Na hiyo ndio maana pia tugundue mambo ambayo yanahusika na sisi katika hii maisha ya Kristo. We are not just Christians because of our name. Because of going to church every Sunday or whatever. We are Christians because of the identity of Christ in our lives. And part of what is needed as Christians in this life is to know the area of forgiveness. Praise the name of the Lord. Forgiveness in Christian living is a requirement. Ni taji ambalo kila Mkristo anahitaji kufahamu. Vitu mbili ndio niingia ndani katika hii ambayo ninapenda Mkristo kumkumbusha kila mwaka. Jambo la kwanza lenyempenda kumkumbusha Mkristo ni kwamba msamaha uko kabisa na ni wa Mwenyezi Mungu na Mungu anasamehe na anasamehe kabisa lakini kuna hii njili nyingine huwa tunahubiri ya kwamba forgive and forget samehe na usahau i'm here to tell you again the year 2020 ya kwamba kusamehe iko lakini kusahau ni kitu kingine bwana Yesu asifiwe i tell you the truth and for free forgiveness ipo but kusamehe ni kitu kingine na utasamehe kusahau utasamehe na nataka kuhakishia bado utakumbuka makosa aliyofanya kama ni yes niambie yes. yes na hiyo nilipokuwa naangalia mwaka huu jambo ambalo roho mungu amekuwa akinisaidia ni hili kama kuna mtu anastahili kujifunza kuishi vizuri ni mkristo kwa sababu hauhitaji kukosea na unahitaji ukiona kosa lolote jiepushe. Kwa sababu msamao utakuwepo ukisema nisamee na ukiomba msamao kwa Mungu utasamehewe lakini kuna uwezekano kusahau itaendelea. Kutosahau itaendelea kukuwepo. People will remember that. Mimi huyu kuna mambo mengi ninakumbuka at my age vitu vingi walio nitesa, walio nitarau, walio nifanyia nini I remember and I am a pastor. Na I don't remember na kuashikia grudge. Niliwasamehe, but if you ask me, I can remember today. So there is nothing like forgiving and forgetting. Forgiving is there. And so Christians, we must raise our ways of doing things. Tuepukane na kukosea watu, tuepukane na mambo ambayo yanazofanya, tukashikana na hali ya kushikwa na kutosahau mambo tuliyofanya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Jambo la pili, msamaha lazima. Amen. Useme ufanye nini? Ni must. Ni must. Amen. Hata ulifanya nini, ulifanya nini, it is a must for you. Na people think that when we talk about kusameheana ni kucheka cheka na watu or furaisha furaishana asaile na kufanyia vitu hivi hivi sasa ndio sababu i can forgive you but i don't entertain your foolishness i can forgive you 
lakini tabia zako ba mimi siingia kwa sababu msamaha lazima praise the name of the lord so msamaha does not mean tuingie katika mambo ya kile watu wanafanya baya baya ili atuonekane umekubaliana na yeye sometimes christians want to take forgiveness kama kitu cha kutegeana kusalimiana na kufanya nini no forgiveness is a must and let me tell you that forgive you na bado nikae mbali na wewe kama ishara kusema usikorekebisha tabia sikae karibu nami but you must say why msamaha lazima kwa mfano wewe mlevi mimi pombe si hai hata wote maisha ni mambo na nimekuwa pombe inaweza haribu inaweza kukudhuru the truth is siwezi kupana na wewe but siwezi ena na wewe kwa kilabu na siwezi tembea na wewe kwa vitu vya hiyo na hata ukisema unakunywa kidogo kwa matumbo yako, mshauri yako, but me I will say no. And I love you. I have no any kind with you. Let's move forward. Forgiveness in Christian living. Mm-hmm. I want to bring kwanza maandiko ambayo tumesoma. Na that is the first part of everything. Maandiko ambayo tumesoma at Yesu na tunashukuru Petro. Petro alitulizia maswali mengi ya Petro anaweza kujiamba na sema na hapo ndio msame. Na Yesu analeta kwa mtu mmoja sema hata sio ana saba ama saba mara sabi. Which means msamaha ni lazima tuwe. Praise the Lord. Na Yesu anaanza kuongeza nguvu katika yale mazungumzo, anasema ya kwamba hata hivyo kuna mtu mmoja aliyeanza kukagua vitabu za madeni yake, anaitwa the master. Na alipokagua vitabu vya madeni yake Atakuta kuna mtu mmoja ambaye alikuwa na deni kubwa na hilo deni I am going quickly. Hilo deni liko kwa na translate hizo talents into Kenya money ni elfu ni milioni 50 za Kenya shillings. 50 million Kenya shillings. Mimi sasa hata kuja na standard and I kusha pesa kama hiyo. I don't. Akasamehewa, amekuja akapiga magoti akasema mimi ni deni bwana akasema kunyenyekea kwako na kulia kwako na kuomba msamaha i have forgiven you the word of god says when you are the hiyo pesa yote anaondoka kidogo akifurahi na msamaha anapatana na mdeni wake huyo mdeni wake unajua pesa yake ilikuwa gani shilingi 7500 za kenya the word of says that kama mtu huyo mtushie wewe unadeni na Mbona usilivi? Mbona umekana ile de? Na sasa amenua ndio kubwa. Na hapo ukamata ile account kwa kwa ndani. Aha wameshu report ikafikia mkubwa wa ile sana. Akasema, "How? Wewe ulipokuwa na deni kubwa nimekusamea. Inakuwaje hili uweke sana ndio?" Na ukisoma alika anasema, "Ilienda hiyo mpaka akawekwa pia naye mahali kwa kulia na kusaka." Yesu anasema neno la lilo kubwa ambalo linatupa jambo la dhati. Yesu akasema kwamba msiposamehe watu katika moyo. Kumbe kusamehe ni ndani ya moyo. It is not due. Msiposamehe ndani ya mioyo ye. Hata baba wa mbinguni hawezi kusamehe. Kumbe forgiveness comes from inside ni kitu ambacho nitakana utengeneze mazingira na uhusiano leo mzuri na Mwenyezi Mungu mpaka Mungu mwenyewe atoe ndani ya moyo. Kwa hivyo si hata aitoshelee kwa mahali kusema tunisamehe. Umenisamehe. Because ni kitu kinachotaka kisaliwe from inside the heart. Na kitu ambacho kimesaliwa ndani ya moyo kitaleta matunda mazuri. Msiposamehe kutoka kwa mioyo ye. Unganisha hiyo mambo na Ephesians chapter 4. Fungue Ephesians 4 quickly. I read. Why Ephesians nne? Forgiveness in Christian living. Tulipookoka kuna mambo ambayo tumeitwa tuenede naye. Na hali yote ndiyo inaleta forgiveness. Na nishangaa the way Paulo anazungumzia kwa kitabu cha Ephesians. Ni kama anasema kuna vitu vya aina hii katika wa Kristo ambavyo huwa vinafanya msamaha ukose kukuepo. Na anasema hizi vitu mkiachana navyo 
Musama utakuwepo. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, Ephesians chapter 4, ninasoma kwa kia verse 25. Ninasoma katika itafsiri ya neno. Paula anandika ikawua, anisema kanisa ni mwili wa kristo. Na anasema wa kristo wajue jinzi ya kuishi ndani ya kanisa as the body of Christ. Anasema hivi, kwa hiyo kila mmoja wenu avue uongo, na kwa miaka kweli mtu na jirani yake. Kwa maana sisi sote tuviungo ya mwili mmoja. Mkikasirika msitende nani wala jua lisije mkiwa bado mmekasirika. Wala msipe ibilisi nafasi. Yeye ambaye amekuwa akiiba asiipe tena. Lakini lazima ajishughulishe afanye kitu kifaacho kwa mikono yake mwenyewe ili awe na kitu cha kuagawia kwa hitaji. 29. Maneno mabaya yasitoke kinywani mwenu bali yale afahayo kwa ajili ya kuwajenga wengine kulingana na mahitaji yao ili yawafaye wale wasikiao. Basi wala msumuzulishe roho mtakatifu wa Mungu ambaye kwa huyo mlitiwa mburi kwa ajili ya siku ya ukombozi. Tatuani, ondoeni kabisa uchungu, gadhamu, hasira, makelele na masingizio pamoja na kila aina ya ukombo. Iweni wafadhili na wenye kuruliana nini kwa nini mkisameana kwa kama vile na ae mungu katika kristo alibu wa samehe nini. Jina na isu yuwezi. Thank you for that good amen. Because kuelewa hili neno kutakusaidia uishi maisha ya msamaha kama mkristo. Paula anasaidua na mungu kudokeza vitu amato minaizafanya msamaha kuwa mungu. Bwana yesu asipiwe. Anaata kwa mata kusama kama kina mwajona kwa uongo. Uongo unaizafanya msamaha uwe mungu. Musebezane ukweli nini kwa nini Kukasirika Na anakaja hindi kukiangata na spata Anakaja kiyota Anasema ondoeni kabisa utungu Kathako hasina makendele Masingizio Na kila ina ya uo Na baka msema hindi ya kasema Baada ya hali yote Iweni watu wa familia Tendeni rehema Mungurumiane nini kwa nini Mungisameana That one is just additional Praise the Lord, no. Muki sameyana, kama vile mungu, alikyo tusame sisi, katika mkristo yesu, wana wiki. There are so many things we need to put away. That is why I've called this topic, forgiveness in this and living. How do forgiveness work in the life of a believer? It is not just stories. How does it work? How does it help wa kristo kwenenda mizuri? Three things I put across to all of us. Number one, we must know that our God is a forgiving God. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, when we come on Christ, we are not going to be Christ. We are not going to be a Christ. We are not going to be a Christ. We are not going to be a Kwa sababu mungu wetu ni mungu kwa usama. Jina la yesu ni mbibi. Na wakati mgine ni nako toa sifa za inaimo mungu wangu huwa na sika kufrani. Kwa sababu that is the identity of my God. That is how God my father in heaven alivio. Jina la yesu ni tukuzi. Ni mungu wa usama. Ni mungu amaye ameja usama ha kwa watoto wake. Na ni unaona hato kwa mkena dhani, hato kwa mtu wa inagani. Madiba anasema ata yuwe nye kundu kama damu. Unako mwenye wa mwenye zi mungu. Mungu wa msama anasame. Mungu wa msama anawondo. Unaweza ukashikiria mtu na maneno na kusema oo na nilethi. Ona hui mwaina hii. Mungu wa msama. Hui mtu akiongea damu anasame. Two, three weeks ago, I was doing a discipleship class with some of the key people in the youth department. Na nikawa na waeleza jamu. Nikawa waeleza, I've been doing the devotions this year. And I've seen something 
Mark akiandika kuhusu Judas Iscariot. Ninaona Marko akiandika injili yake kuhusu Judas Iscariot ya kwamba Judas wakati alisaliti Yesu, Judas alitubu. Judas alienda akasema pesa zetu ndio hizi. Na akasema mambo yetu si taka. That was a heart that is broken, a heart ready to receive forgiveness. What was the surprise? I told my lakas, don't be surprised to get in heaven and find Judas is coming. Mmoja wa wanafunzi 10 na wili wa Yesu. Akisema mimi ndio niliahisha kwa msalaba, lakini nilikutana na Mungu mwenye msamaha. Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa msamaha. Jina la Yesu ni lile. Beba moyo wa msamaha. Tembea katika msamaha wa Mungu. Tembea katika nafasi ya kutambua kwamba our God is full of forgiveness. Psalms 103 verse 1 to 3 kwa ndio ana tafsiri zaburi ni moja na tatu ukisoma mstari wa kwanza na wa tatu bila sema e nafsi yangu umhimidi bwana naam yote nilivyo ndani yangu nilihimidi jina lake takatifu basi nasema e nafsi yangu umhimidi bwana wala usizisahau fadhili zake zote fadhili zake ni gani basi 3 basi 3 nasema akusamehe maovu yako yote na anakuponya magonjwa yako yote Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa msamaha. Na ni lazima wa Kristo tutembee na mioyo ambayo imejawa msamaha. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't be a Christian ambaye katika kuongea kwako, kufanya kwako vitu, unajikuta kwamba I hear you talk sometimes. Kama last Sunday you were throwing out the vision 2070, I can just hear what some of you are saying. Some of you kids believe that glory they are talking out of a heart that is full of unforgiveness. You can just hear that. You can hear that. You need to understand Mungu amejaa kwa msaba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na Mungu wetu amesamehe na anaondoa. By the way, yeye pekee ndiye anasamehe na anasahau. Lakini sio mwanadamu. Hakuna. Kuna. Mimi hata sasa hivi naongea na yeye na kumka kiboko mmoja mwalimu alimweka kwa hiyo ngoma. I remember that back in 1987. So how can you teach people forgive and forget? Nothing like forgetting. I remember. Nikwa na pigiwa tukwa mu story ni kitoka nao na Europe juzi. Nika wambia kwa mba anwebe kukeni salamu za mwote ka wetu wa baptismu wote kenya. Kwa hivyo salimu za nimo kano. Nika na wapigiwa story ni kawapigiwa story wa bali ya kujana moja. Alisoma very slowly. Ni wale wa jamaa wa shiki masoma na wa shiki. Nina kumuka mimi nikiingia darasa la kwanza hadi kwa darasa la nne. Na bado nilimpita nikiwa class 8 yako class 6. Niliposema hivyo my daughter Becky alicheka sana. Na hapo nilipita nayo. Na nikaanga nyuma ya class, nyuma kichwa nyuma karibu na dirisha. Na kuna kitu moja alikuwa kosi kuja naye na shule kifieki. Panga kifieki. Jamaa mrefu mweupe hamo uso tu just bent face. Na good guy, very clean heart. By the way, he was a very good friend to me. Tulipenda na kwa watu wazani na huko tena na baadhi ya jamaa. Au yake watu but a very close friend. Mmoja wa mimi mmoja huyu jamaa wa Boko. Kaingia class. Hata kanika. Hata yuko wacha. Ana rudia rudia na Boko kwa mapera. Wali mwanajua Boko kwa mapera kuita. Ana ni wacha na rudia. Kufika kwa kama nilipoka na kumuita majina yote bila yeye ni muta mbaya basi elewa na kuelewa tu toda da siku hii asili ya huyo mwanaume ilizoka tu akoni Alitoa kifieki yake kona bila aliweka hapo Na wita ma he was a tall teacher na angevaa shati ya red Mnajua shule siku hiyo ni red Na alikuwa nani na mikuja mikono by the name Titus Very good teacher, my English teacher from Nyanza. And finally, you can get it. And you wake up, you can get it. Yeah. You can get it. 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 You can get it.
Mungu ndo msamaha lakini watakumbuka ishi nao vizuri watakumbuka mazuri ulio kando wao Bwana majesha asifiwe Our God is full of forgiveness no question of that Katika agano la kale msamaha ulikuwa unakuja when you are violated or you are against the will of God ama penzi ya Mungu Msamaha ulikuwa unakuja kwa mambo mawili jambo la kwanza ni wakati dhambi tu inaingia ndani mwako be ready for punishment Romans chapter 6 inaeleza hiyo sana. Inasema mshahara, paka inasema mshahara dhambi ni mauti. So kwa tayari kwa kwa vipimo, but vitu viwili vingefanyika unakuta unaweka huko. Kitu cha kwanza ilikuwa kwamba a life must be taken as a substitute for that sin or that sin. Yale makosa umefanya lazima maisha yatolewe. Na ndio na walikuwa naenda na kondoo na mbuzi kulingana na dhambi inachinjwa. Ikisha chinjwa damu inamwagwa. Na ikisha mwagwa hiyo sacrifice inasimama badala ya dhambi zako. Na unaondoka hapo umesamehewa. Lazima kungewekwa kitu kinaitwa dhambi to become a substitute of the sinner or the sin. Jambo la pili the sinner must come to God with a spirit of sacrifice and faith in God. Huyu mwenye ametenda dhambi lazima akuje kwa hali ya kujitolea, kwa hali ya kujisalimisha. Na ndani mwake anahitaji adhuu na awe na imani na ajipatiane kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Very important. Failure to do that, ungepata sadaka zako na unaenda pale mtandao. Na ndio naona kwa gani Jike Yesu anasema Ukikuja kutoa sadaka na ugundua hujamwachilia ndugu yako hata usitoe kwa sababu alikuwa anasema upeane moyo na upeane dhabihu na upeane hali ya kujiachilia then you receive the forgiveness haleluya na where is forgiveness msamaha huko na Mungu na msamaha si kitu cha kudai msamaha huko na Mwenyezi Mungu what you need to create mazingira ya msamaha kwa sababu umeshughulikia mambo ambayo hayafai. Shamba ukipanda vyakula na unataka nileete vyakula nzuri, unang'oa magugu. Na ukimoa magugu hata ukiweka mbolea kama ni mahindi, yale mahindi yanapata kukula ile chakula na inazaa vizuri. Lakini ukipata mahindi kwa shamba na magugu hata ukiweka mbolea, bado mahindi yatoka ile konda. Sio not true. Kazi yetu katika kuisha ya magugu creating an environment for forgiveness. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I think you can repeat this words to me. Ebu sana creating an environment. Creating an environment for forgiveness. For forgiveness. Kuweka mazingira. Kuweka mazingira. Ya msamaha. Ndio ndio sasa forgiveness in Christian day. Mazingira yanayofuata. Five things very important. Ya kuweka mazingira. Jambo la kwanza ni lazima uwe mkristo wa kuona dhambi. Praise the name of Jesus. Don't assume na Mungu ambaye amekuokoa atakusaidia utaona. Ona makosa, ona mambo mabaya, ona jambo lenye si nzuri. Fungua macho Mungu amekupa macho uone. Na hata kama basi umekuwa kipofu wa macho ya dunia hii, macho ya kiroho yanaweza ona. Usiwe mkristo ambaye unafunika uovu, unaficha ficha, unatafuta justification, ona makosa, fungua macho na uone haya ni makosa. Hiyo ni hatua number one ya to create environment for forgiveness. Mtu yeyote ambaye anaona makosa, tayari mazingira ya msamaha inaanza kuangalia. Jambo la pili ukishaona makosa As a Christian, lazima usikitike juu ya hayo makosa. In English, you have to feel sorrow. Mkristo huwezi kufanya makosa na bado unatakwa njia. That sorrow must come. Lile wiki la uzuri kwa kweli nimekosa. I am wrong. Nimekosa must come. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndio naona Yesu katika Mathayo aliadhibu huyu mtu. Kwa sababu alimwambia nimekusamehe na wewe uweze kusamehe mwingine you must create an environment of sorrow haleluya ndio ndio au kwa sababu they can do no baba anajaza baba anajaza eh hata 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 wewe ndio 
nikimaliza mwenyewe lazima usikitike kwa sababu dhambi ni mbaya praise the name of the lord jambo la tatu lenye linaweka mazingira ni kungama yani ile dhambi put it together and confess praise the name of jesus confess that thing ungama na kosa yako unasaini wewe na wewe ndio mkristo mwerevu by the way na ndio mkristo wa 25 ama yako ndio kwenda mwaka 25 anaweza kusema hakika hili ni kosa. This is what if we confess our sins first John 1:9. Praise the name of Jesus. Tukimnama na mizetu. Na Yohana anasema if because I know when we have to do kungama. If we confess our sins, the Bible says God is faithful. Amen. He will forgive all the sins and cleanse us from all iniquity. Yaani akaondoa hata zile za ndani na ndio hapo unaona lile haliwezekani na wanadamu linawezekana na Jehova. Ana uwezo wa kuondoa yote. Ungama dhambi zako. Hiyo ni mazingira ya kuleta shida. Na kuleta ugonjwa. Na kukabiliana na matatizo. Confess your sins. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Ukisha ungama hivi na hata nimeenda mbio kwa kukiri unataka ungame na baada ya mwaka ndio ukivu ndio confession ungame is like put together but the next step ni kukiri sasa ni confession wewe you say kama ni wizi niliiba ndio naona Paul anasema kama ni tango ni sisi sawa kama ni kanyaga ngu nilikanyaga kama nilikusema nilikusema kama nilifanya hizo na by the way the best way to handle this in a kwanza my brother or my sister The truth is nilikanyaga mungu wangu. Na nimejichunguza nilikanyaga mungu. Nataka ujue hivi. Kuanzia sasa nimebadilika. Sitakukanyaga mungu tena. I tell you utaona kitu cha Mungu atajika katikati yenu wewe. Hata hivi kile yenu na sasa hivi Christians tunajiingiza ndani. Eh you are wrong. Na unataka to justify uongo wako makosa yako kwa wengine. Kutale maandiko anasema mwenye umekosana na yeye pata lengo hili. Mkipatana haleluya kwa Jehovah. Msipopatana ndio tulete watatu. Na watatu washindikana tulete wa wazee wa kanisa. Wazee wa kanisa wakishindikana kanisa nzima. Mwenye ameshinda mmoja, ameshinda watatu, ameshinda kanisa. Maandiko amefikia uwezo discipline committee and the church. Yes. Do I have the discipline committee the church? Mwenye ameshinda wawili Atashinda watatu. Atashinda kanisa. Biblia imebeba kamati ya nidamu uwezo wa kusema kwenda uwe kwa dunia. Yaani kufukuza. Na hapo maandiko Paulo anasema in first Corinthians chapter 4, ni heri mwili ugongwe na roho yake ibone. Si kwamba atapoteza uko, lakini atatandikwa mwili kuroba. Ibilisi hapo huko, saini kanisa linatema mtu. Huyo mtu naye mapepo wa ya mgonjwa. Na hata kunishambulia na kamkonga na wasaka anaweza kufa na kikufa si hata anaenda jehana ni mwili umekufa lakini roho inabona ndio naona Hebrewia 10:25 inasema msikose kukaa pamoja katika ushirika jinsi ilivyo desturi ya wengine there is power when we walk together in unity amen but if you come hard then you are out of the fellowship mapepo yote saba mara sabini inaitwa hao Hello Christo? Yes. Oh God. My prayer is that ukokee utajiri wa msamaha tumapini ya leo. Amen. Na ujue jinsi ya kukaa. Amen. Kwa sababu tunazungumza forgiveness in Christian living. Amen. That is how you need to live. Kana wa Kristo, kana wa shirika, tuwe jinsi kana mtwao, hata waume na wake, na wake na waume na watoto. Know how to do things. And the Lord will bless your lives. Praise the name of Jesus. And after that hadi kisha kiri acha dhambi acha dhambi ni mbaya iache wacha nini when is this you mimi na siana ndio wenda ndio nisikia mtu anachanga ule eh unalia leo tunaomba msamaha unachukua kesho zenu na kiri that is not what God is talking about as a christian dhambi iwache na toka ndani na hata kuishi maisha mapya kama mkristo na wacha kuelekana kwamba unaishi maisha tofauti praise the name of jesus amen hata dhambi hayo mazingira ambayo yanaruhusu
sana kwa Mungu uweze kukuja. Bwana Yesu aibu. Amen. Sikuishi maisha ya hiyo baraka mimi sijui. Nimefanya kazi yangu nimekueleza. Mungu wa msamaha anangoja kwa hayo mazingira na kusaidia. Amen. Jina la Yesu Amen. Secondly, forgiveness or God's forgiveness demands that we forgive others. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. God's forgiveness demands that we forgive others. You are not yet free. Kama wewe hautii kusamehe wewe. You are not yet free. Kama wewe hautii ukabeba wewe. Kuna watu wengine ni roho rocha, roho mbaya. Hata kusema tu nimesema unaweza kuta hiyo kitu na mnyonga hata kwa roho. Hmm? I've done this with people. Ambia yeye hey, pole. <laughs> yani God will not forgive. Niki bali wa mkuu. Na nimejua some of us walinelewa maisha magumu ya kutambia watu ni samee, ya kutambia samee. Mpendwa katika jina la Yesu, jifundishe kusema ni samee. Bwana majesha asifiwe. Jifundishe kuambia watu nimekusamee. And then we will say that because forgiveness from the Lord demands that we forgive other people. And whenever we do that, we are forgiven by the grace of God. It's not because we have done anything to be salvaged from Samoa Mung. And grace brings responsibility and obligation. Praise the name of Jesus. Umesamehao kwa neema. Na neema inaleta wajibu na inaleta pia kazi. You are obligated to forgive another people. You have a responsibility of forgiving other people. Wengine wanakaanga kama masters. Special kwa nzee sisi ndio tuna hiyo shida. Unapenda kwa tatu bibi akupigie na God na kukuambia nimekusamehe. Ah. Asante Dr. Leo kwa hiyo alisema bibi yangu ni yeye kwa anasema kwa pole. Wanaume, you also need to face your wife and tell her nisamehe. Sasa tunakosea kwa kizee. Hello. Hello. And say forgiveness is not weakness. It is strength. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I was cancer in another couple in Nairobi before I came here. Kiangalia. The young lady in marriage anambia kama mshauri wa ndoa ni kiangalia tu ubizi kitu cha anambia ni kusikia mume wake akimuongelesha. Akimwambia kuna wanaume kile don't even talk to their wives. Nikamwambia bwana you have a lot of work. This guy wants to be a you talking to her. Ukimpea siku, ukimwongelesha, ukimwambia ni same. But you might think up and you shall make it in. Give up and let it in. Men we must rise up as Christians and be in a position to tell these beautiful ladies forgive you. I'm going against the will of God and again the plans of God as far as a husband is concerned. And so, my dear wife, forgive me. That was my mother was my baby. My dear baby. Nafikiri nasaidia nini kuna hata kuna kitu nasaidia. Mimi na kwa wengi wana hata kuna msaja haya wabia wewe bole. I don't buy. Mwanaumu wa Afrika. Kwa hata zaina wewe kukosea. Ya nakuja wewe kauka. Anangoja. Na ukiozidi kwa mbele kina ni kofimbili zinamba. Wanaumu wa kapa na wasaidia wa wawa di wawuma pole. Amen. Amen. Because ni mapenzi ya Mungu tujifunze kusamea wengine. Amen. Bwana anajesha siku. Amen. Maandiko yanasema msukumu naye hamta kuhimu. That is Luke chapter 6 and verse 37. Grace brings responsibility and obligation. Ndio sababu Yesu akasema msukumu nanyi hamta kuhimu. Msilaumu nanyi hamta Unajua mwisho alipo alimalizaje hiyo mstari cha Luke chapter 6 verse 7 alimaliza kwa kusema achilieni nani mtaachiliwa Kumbe kama ukiwa kusamea watu hujaachilia na basi wewe basi wewe hujaachiliwa basi wewe ni mfungwa Aya sikika unajua target inasemani after that seven ndio target ikasema sasa because umeachilia na ukaachiliwa sasa ndio nasema hola i can see it there let's read it give and it will be given to you 
nilikuwa tayari nimeshaona mzee mmoja mzee wa kwanza kutengeneza majeleza ya Dorit mkisi pale ukipanda medical sisi tulitana medical nyingi tunaita kwa hiyo na Volkswagen akibeba majeleza juu that was my own model nilikuwa nasema huyu mzee bila ya Volkswagen tauni B hata mimi Volkswagen naendesha lakini kijana huyu anaona unaendelea unajifunza kufanyia nini watu wa maono wanaona Now, spirit shows that one is a true follower of Christ. If you do not have a forgiving spirit, then part of following Christ is questionable. Finally, to my last point, forgiveness releases the blessings from God. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The brothers and sisters, I want us to know there are so many blessings which God wants to release to us. And I've used this word release intentionally. Kwa sababu ni meona wa Christo wa kiamuka mjani kwa kudai baraka kwa mungu. Mungu na dai. Ati nilifitolea mungu na kumi na kudai. Kuna dai mungu weo unaweza dai mungu nini. Vyote ni ya mungu. Tuta dai mungu nini. Vyote ni ya mungu. Hatu dai mungu chochote. Lakini tukapu waka masingira mazuri. God releases the blessings. Praise the name of Jesus. And one of the environment ambayo inafanya mungu at least that's the forgiveness. Forgiveness releases blessings from heaven to the children of God. Amen. So many blessings are there in the hearts of the Lord. For our lives, some will say amen. amen. Blessings for our families. Amen. Blessings for our church. Amen. Blessings for our country. Amen. They are all there. But an environment is simple, summit. What is us?